most of the viewers correctly diagnosed this case as a case of anterior blepharitis now blepharitis is one of the most common ocular diseases it is the inflammation of the eyelid margin and that's why it's correct and early diagnosis has got paramount importance and every eye care practitioner should know its management as well now if anterior part of the eyelid margin is affected as in this video it is called anterior blepharitis anterior part of the eyelid margin consists of skin eyelashes its base and follicles so it can be either staphylococcal anterior blepharitis or seaborg anterior blepharitis now how to differentiate between the two if uh, there are predominant dry white scales at the base of the eyelashes uh, and uh, less uh, greasy and oily secretions um, it is anterior staphylococcal blepharitis most of the time uh, you will get the mixed picture of uh, anterior blepharitis uh, like in this patient uh, which you are uh, seeing uh, it has got uh, both components of staphylococcal as well as uh, seborrheic now why staphylococcal blepharitis occurs well the bacteria they secrete bacterial toxins uh, which cause direct irritation of the eyelashes and also uh, cell mediated immunity to staph aureus uh, is also increased uh, so it also play role in increased inflammation the other anterior blepharitis seborrheic has got less inflammation but more oily or greasy scaling so patient usually present with eyelid crusting sticking watering redness burning photophobia and decrease of vision symptoms are worse in the mornings in anterior blepharitis and there is prolonged history with chronicity of the disease and remissions and exacerbations again in staphylococcal there will be red inflamed eyelid margin with eyelash misdirections as well as eyelash loss so you can find these findings in this patient as well hard scales collarettes encircling the lash base anterior eyelid margin ulceration so we have got uh, anterior staphylococcal signs in this patient uh, and if in a pure uh, anterior staphylococcal uh, blepharitis you may find flectanular conjunctivitis and marginal keratitis as well seborrheic on the other hand purely seborrheic has less redness less erythema less telangiectasia but more oily scales and greasing crusting on the lashes now in this patient uh, uh, greasing and crusting is also present so you cannot say that it is pure staphylococcal or pure seborrheic dry eye is associated with all types of blepharitis and now let's come to the management it is a chronic condition and require lot of effort uh, and uh, duration of treatment is uh, more most important in its management is eyelid hygiene which means warm compresses eyelid massage and eyelid scrubs apply warm compresses to the eyelid margin for several minutes 3 to 4 times a day to soften the scales and collections and warm the meibomian secretions then eyelid scrubs with wet washcloth and detergent such as johnson baby shampoo to remove scales and all the accumulated material vertical massage to express the meibomian secretions topical antibiotic and steroid ointments to the eyelid margin will help eradicate the bacteria topical lubricants to address the associated dry eye if there is associated demodex infestation treat it with petroleum jelly tea tree oil so that was all about the ferritus i have i hope you have got some idea thank you